For RCI Wireless News, I'm Joey Jackson. I'm here with Zach Thompson of 3M. Zach, where are we right now? Uh, right now we're in the 3M Austin Innovation Center. Give me a little background on 3M. Uh, well, 3M in Austin uh, started in about 1984 when they moved their operations down here for the Electronics and Energy Business Group. Uh, they started construction on the 3M Austin Center uh, and completed that in about 1989 and then moved our facilities into there. And people might not know that you're involved in telecom as much as you are. Tell me about that. Uh, well, 3M has a history of leveraging its materials knowledge and uh, other core areas into new uh, products. And so uh, we leverage a lot of the materials, uh, sealing, and uh, innovative ideas that 3M has in our telecommunications products to ensure connectivity. And this is a big building. How big is this? It's about 1.25 million square feet here, and over 11 buildings. And what are we going to see today? Uh, see a couple of different products. We're going to show you a fiber optic splice enclosure and another product called the Slimlock, which we use in the wireless industry. Let's go check it out. All right. So this product is called a Slimlock, and it's designed to protect uh, RF wireless uh, signals on a cell tower. And in addition to its uh, hard materials and its weatherproof sealing, it was designed for a safe installation. You see, field techs have to have one hand on the cell tower at all times to steady themselves. So it was designed for a one-hand installation and removal. The cables fall along this area where the gel is, drop it around the cable, make your connection, clasp the seal, slide it into place. All right, Zach, so we're in front of the 3M testing lab now. Tell me what we're going to see in here. Uh, we're going to see a couple of the products that we showed you earlier, the 2178 fiber optic splice closure and the slim lock. We're going to do a couple of different impact tests and uh, a freezing rain test uh, to show you a little bit about what we do here at 3M to test our products. And we got to put on some safety glasses. Yes, we do. Uh, safety first, right? That's right. Thank you. So, here at 3M, product design is really important, but we have a whole other team dedicated to testing of our products. This is my colleague, Laura Dream Crusher Hurley, and she's a member of the test team here at 3M. She's going to tell you a little bit more about what we do with our testing, uh, specifically to the fiber optic closures and the slim lock. Here at 3M Austin Center, we have 33 environmental chambers that do temperature, humidity, a variety of extreme weather conditions. We, we mostly test to Telcordia specifications, but what makes 3M unique is that we do our in-house testing. We do our testing ourselves. This year alone, we've done 100 test requests, and at any given time, we could have 20 to 40 uh, test, test requests in progress. All right, Laura, so we're getting serious right now. What are we about to do? We're going to go check on the slim lock. Um, we're doing a freezing icing rain test. Uh, it's a fairly long test. It's negative 18 C in here. So, so it's going to get cold. It's going to be cold. Right, so let's, let's check it. it out. This is cold. So we also call this the popsicle test. So I have to put on a thin layer of water to create six millimeters of ice on each one of these samples. And it does take a while. All day, usually. So we're gonna do an impact test. We have a 2178 fiber optic closure. We're gonna drop this 20 pound weight, five feet onto the closure, and it's called a 100 foot pound impact test. That's a failure. Either the material and or the process is incorrect and is not suitable for this closure.
Today's episode is brought to you by Telecom Careers, the number one global telecom and wireless job board. Telecomcareers.net.